Morning, Reefing Peoples. Let me show you something interesting. If you have a sump, you have to have some kind of overflow. That's obvious. You could have an overflow uh, on the inside. You could have an external one. You could have a hang on the back one like this one. But all of the overflows have in common is that they have a weir, which is uh, typically a place with cutouts that the water flows through. <clears throat> What's interesting about this is that they get gunk in their little teeth. And what you might not realize is how much water flow that is restricting. So this algae, which grows in these, this the CPRs, because they're clear. I don't know why they did that. This should have been black. Anyway, it does grow, and it gets thick in these little teeth. And if you clean this out, you can actually see an increase in water flow. So what I'm going to do is set the camera up uh, in front of the, the sump and clean that out, and I'll show you. Okay, we're down at the sump, and here's the tick mark that shows the water level. That's where it should, it should be. I'm going to take this little teeny brush, and while you're looking at that tick mark, I'm going to scrub that algae out of those weir teeth. Okay, here we go. Did you see that? That much more water came out of the display tank into the sump. With the only thing I did was take this little brush and brush out the wear. So you need to keep your wears clean. I'll see you later.